Greetings, once again, my dear friends. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. The chickens are balking again, as they will. Good day to you. What do you need? What have you got for sale? Oh, a copy of Marathon Volume 1. I think I actually want that. But we'll still haggle. Always haggle. And a tawny tomorrow as well. Let's try forty two. We agreed. It's a nice round number. It'll take more than that to persuade me. Okay. Forty five. Finally, a reasonable sum. Okay. Um Here I am, sir. Well, I didn't hear a word he said, but the subtitles were plain enough. Good thing I just bought a book. I shall sit in the rain and read. Just for an hour at a time. something. How very rude. Another hour reading in the rain. Why not? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> How have you all been getting on here? Well, Lord Capon's been chasing us around a bit and so forth. Nothing we're not used to. Fair enough. Bye. As long as everybody's having fun. you need, sir? I need you to do me a favor, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. Well, you'd never think it, but Stenna here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked, and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite. But maybe you can do better. Right then, 
You've got to beat Zether at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his arse on show. Okay, why not? Alright, why the hell not? Um, Stena, shall we play dice? How about a game of dice then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? I'm not going to answer that question with anything other than I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see how good you are. Can't wait to see what you throw. Okay. Well, that's uh, six fifty on the first well, well. first what roll. Now you. What's the matter, Sir Hans? Am I better at Farkle than you? Oh, damn it. If only one of those fives were a three. Oh, well. Um... I think I just won. My <laughs> Some real competition at last. No, I let you win. Okay. How is it a bad move? Mother of God. Probably not going to help you with gambling. Um Yeah, another four hundred and fifty, why not? Bad move. But I'm proud of you. She's the one who will be doing the showing, but yes. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. All right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. Get into the bath dress. No, I'm not going to do that. Tread on anything vital. All right, give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> oh. Oh, that feels good. Now, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cow pats less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> You certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. 
Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Booze and wenches? Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing. <coughs> the here is very... You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Clara, my most favouritest bath thing. But I must admit, the wine you have here is... What's wrong with the bath housewife? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. So where? Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat's house, there's some excellent wine that Sanish bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right, then. All right, then. What kind of wine is it? A silver and red. In the cellar under the rat's house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. Get a pitcher somewhere and take it with you. All righty. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good man. Okay. <coughs> Drunken raid into the rat house cellar. Oh. I just had an idea. Sorry, sorry, coming through. Sorry, excuse me. So Hans is key is invaluable. Okay, now people like you to be carrying a torch at the very least. Guards don't care so much if you're wandering through town naked at night as long as you're well lit. Which is, I suppose, a bit of a thing, but whatever. Fine, I'll go around the long way.
you. What are you doing here? Well, I thought it was pretty obvious. I'm going to get wine for Hans. Lord Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Lord Capon, eh? A likely story. Oh, come on. I'm only a servant. You clearly don't know Laura Capon. Do you think he's going to leave in the middle of his merriment to go and get his own wine? Ha! <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like the young lord. I suppose he sent you for the silver and red. Uh, damn Very straight well. he did. Well, you'll leave some for Sir Hanush at least, won't you? <laughs> I'll try. See, the guards know what's what. At least this dude. It's probably like the fourth time this week someone's <laughs> busted in in the middle of the night. For wine for Sir Hans. Um... Is there an out? An out. Thank you. Out. Excellent. Personally, I thought it was really, really nice of that dude to uh, just let me get the wine first. He didn't have to do that. Steal all of Sir Hans's clothes because why not? So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. I used your key. Nothing to it. I just used your key. My key? Why, you sly rogue, you. You're craftier than I thought. You can keep the key. They let me in there whenever I want anyway. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Let it down you. Now that's what I call a real one. Silver and red. Not like that donkey piss they serve in this otherwise likely establishment. You can tell from the first <laughs> sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Silver and red. The taste is unmistakable.
the other girls. I know, Clara. You, you are, are different. <laughs> you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. <laughs> what? what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh, well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh. sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, s sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not wheat and poppies. <laughs> what? You, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But <laughs> if you do it. I'll give you Rivenzi Flubbin Groschen. <laughs> that much. <laughs> All right. I'll go. There's not a lot Henry uh, won't do for Squiventy uh, Flos and Groschen. What was it she said? Sage something? Something else? <laughs> Roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the Upper Castle Garden. Yes, the Upper Castle Garden. Somewhere that I've totally been and would absolutely know that there are roses there. Yeah. through. Sorry. Don't mind the horse. I just can't help but imagine that every single one of these guards is just seeing Henry half hammered. Ah, oh, that's right, tournament tomorrow as well. But now we have the flowers for Clara. I'm not your wench, or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! And are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> you shut your mouth, I'm not done with you! No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard! I'd like to see you try, arson balls. <laughs> arson balls! <laughs> love of God, stop it, both of you! Fuck you now. Hey! What do you think you did? Henry, 
Come on this way, arse and balls, so I can at least see you to kick the shit out of you. Of my sights. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, Your Lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Whew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the least relaxing path I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. Hans would get along really well with Father Godwin. Okay. Let's chew on a marigold decoction. What will you do with them, Sir Hans? <coughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. What do you think I should do with them? He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. Have you tried to drown a nobleman? I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> But we had some pretty good sport, eh? Take care. Apparently, Scriventy Flozen is the equivalent of 55. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, and I got another 75. I think I shall quickly duck back to the mill, put the clothes that I just stole from Sir Hans in my stash, and then I think that might do it for this session. Okay. Farewell for the time being. Hope you uh, enjoyed spending some time with arts and balls. Farewell for now.